All right, bear with me if I'm a little out of breath and moving around and distracted while I talk. But I've got to get these chores done when it's cold out here. So I'm trying to be fast about it. And I wanted to tell you guys about what I've been up to the last couple of days. So there is this wonderful organization here in Georgia called the Georgia Farmers Market Association. And they have great organizers, great people, and they have put on the very first Food for Thought conference here in Georgia. It was up at Gwinnett Tech. And they had scholarships that they offered to people. And so, of course, with me wanting to further my education and hopefully help my self get my business started and, and really be a true farmer, not just a homestead farmer slash wannabe farmer um, farming but not making any money. <laughs> so I decided that I would apply for the scholarship and hopefully get to go because they had some great speakers lined up that were going to help people get their businesses started so that you're better able and better equipped to go to farmers markets and be successful. Got little man loaded up in the wagon with the layer pellets so that I can feed the chickens. Okay, so I applied for the scholarship and lo and behold, luckily I was chosen as one of the lucky recipients. So I was thrilled when I found out that I was going to get to go. So I was lucky enough to be chosen and I was so excited when I found out and I started planning out and we got Ryan to have the time off from work on the days that it was and got everything squared away, didn't we, Rowan? So the last two days I spent up there learning and learning and networking and meeting some amazing people and I was so lucky to get to go to this because this is one of the best conferences I've ever been to and I really highly recommend if you live in Georgia if you can make it next year to the Food for Thought conference um, I, I highly recommend it <laughs> it was amazing and they had some great speakers and I got to learn a lot of stuff that I've been wondering about with my business and one of the things that I feel like the conference really gave me was the courage and the ability to put forth a full force effort to truly make myself into a business. And I'm definitely feeling like I can do that now. And I'm wanting to make sure that our business is going to maintain the mission I've always had of helping people and teaching people. So I'm 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 definitely feeling secure about creating a nonprofit. So I think that's the direction we're gonna take and I'm very excited to share that with you guys. Okay, so one of the other things I wanted to tell you guys about was I have been really bad about videoing myself, doing these vlogs, talking or showing how to do stuff or whatever, and then not getting to the editing and publishing stage. I apologize. I am going to try to be better. I have been working hard to limit myself how much I'm going to videotape until I get caught up. So you're going to see some videos that are older than they should be. So we're, we're, uh, I just published a video at the end of October, um, was when it was recorded and it's the beginning of December now. So I'm a month behind. And so, but good thing is, is I realized I was getting over my head and I stopped recording a lot, so I'm going to have a bunch um, that I'm going to try to get ready to publish. And I'm just going to try to do one a day until I get them all loaded and up on the page, up on the channel. <laughs> so, look forward to that. And I look forward to maintaining my vlog in a way that doesn't allow me to fall behind again. So, hopefully me stating this as a goal will help me maintain that goal. Um, that's one of those little tricks I learned in the conference. And I also wanted to say that we have um, given Petunia, our hog, back to her 
owners and they are going to get her bread. So we're really excited about that. And now we have this area behind me. That's where Petunia was. So we're going to go in there. We're going to get it all cleaned out. We're going to fix all the holes. Not There's a lot. There's two or three holes that she dug to, to sleep in in the summer. And we're going to trim the fence line up and we're going to um, get it ready for the goats to be able to stay in there for the winter because moving them around on the pasture when there's nothing to eat doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And this actually has quite a bit of grass out there and it's a big amount of space. So it should be perfect for them to have a good place to hang out for the winter. Of course, we bring them in at night still, um, but it'll make things easier through the winter months for them and for us. So that's, that's something we're really excited about. So that space is going to be our next adventure. Before I go over to the garden, I was just going to show you. These guys, there's like three raindrops in the sky right now. They ran to their shelter. Goats do not like rain. They very much do not like rain. And they just ran over there. Those three are still looking at me because they're like, Mommy, are you coming to give us another treat? But anyway, they're funny. Look at them. So I just wanted to show you how the rain has made such an impact in this garden. It has greened up so well. And it just looks so happy. And I mean, even, even this lettuce looks like it's trying to bolt some of it. <laughs> it's like crazy. Look how dark green that lacinato kale is, or dinosaur kale, depending on what you call it. Um, and this broccoli is looking amazing. I need to get in there and start harvesting some of those shoots because they were labeled as baby broccoli. So I'm assuming they're not going to form big heads. So harvest some of those and eat them and enjoy them. And that is lots of good green chickweed in there too that we can use as medicine. Um, one of the speakers at the conference was from Bella Vista Farms and that was one of the classes I attended and she talked about how chickweed is literally her favorite um, so that's something we can use and enjoy and appreciate so the best thing I heard at the conference was a quote that I wrote down in my notebook as I was listening to it and it was Start now. Start where you are. And I wrote it down and then I took a picture of the presenter and I posted it because they were doing a social media blitz contest with hashtags. And so, of course, I participated in that and I actually won for one of my other quotes. But anyway, um, <laughs> start where you are. And I posted the picture and with that caption and as I was going through my social media making sure that it had posted okay I saw that I had a notification on my personal Facebook account that my mother had tagged me and my siblings in something so I went to go read it and it said this reminds me of Nana her mom and she said I love you all and it was this beautiful quote that was almost word for word what the presenter was saying and one of the second line in the quote is start where you are and it, it was it was beautiful I'll have to go back and maybe post it underneath in the comments, but it was like, start now, start big, start small, start weak, start strong. It doesn't matter. It's, it's just the fact that you start and you get that start and you begin. So if you have a passion and you have something you believe in, do it. Start it now. Go for the gold. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And then another big thing happened. I don't know how much I thought that this YouTube thing was going to be something I really wanted to do. I just thought it would be fun to get started 
and start vlogging and you know help people learn about what we do and what they can do too and I've made some friends along the way somehow and it's been kind of cool I've, I've been getting to know another youtuber um, we've been private messaging talking about goats and other things and she's been nice enough to send me some of her pawpaw seeds and I'm gonna be sending her some tomato seeds as soon as I get around to it and lo and behold she went to go look at some goats today yesterday and she actually sh did a shout out to me in her video and she linked to my YouTube channel in her video and also a, a video link too and if you guys know anything about YouTube that's big for somebody who's small like me to have somebody big like her I mean they have tons I mean thousands of followers and I, I didn't even have a hundred. Well, as of right now, when I came out to do the chores, I had 118 followers. I mean, subscribers. And I struggled to try to get up to 83, I think is where I was. So that's huge. To get over the hundred mark, it opens up so many more opportunities to me, it feels like. So I'm super excited about that. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Art and Brie. And thank you, Brie. You have no idea. <laughs> What that means to me, really, it, 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 it means a lot to me that you were kind enough to link us and to, to mention us in your video. And I just am excited to see where that's going to go. And, and I, I'm really enjoying getting to know you and your family through the channel, but more so even just the private messaging between you and I. It's been, it's been great to bounce ideas off of you and to get advice and stuff. Um, when I have questions about YouTube stuff, you're there, and I appreciate that, and it's it's great to have community. <laughs> so, thank you for that, and thank you, all of you followers, um, all of you subscribers. I really appreciate all every subscription I get. I really do, and I really want to help you. So, if there's ever anything you need, if you want to ask in the comments, if you want to send me a private message, email me, whatever, I'm here. So, I'd be glad to help anybody get started in this life and enjoy it because that's why I'm here.